Yo, what's up guys? So today's gonna be a really cool day. We have Ryan here. He has that red Supra over there. But we got a mod that I've been really wanting for a really long time. I just had no way of accessing it. It's a GT4 front bumper. Well, it's not actually like the GT4 race car front bumper, but it's the one that, it kind of looks like it. It's an OEM bumper modified to look like the GT4 race car. So you can see it has the center cutout. The race cars have it for like their intake and extra cooling, but I feel like it'll look really sick on the street car. Also, one of my other favorite parts about this bumper is they shaved the side marker. There's no side marker there. Isn't that so cool? So it looks super clean. You know, the OEM bumpers have like an ugly orange side marker here, which to be honest, I never really liked, but uh, yeah, that won't be a problem anymore. It's gonna be so cool. So today we're gonna be putting this on. Also, a huge shout out to my friend Serge at Simply Racing Motorsports. Uh, they are the ones that like supplied the bumper, they make the bumper. They use the OEM bumper and put their really cool carbon inlay in there. So that's like epoxied onto the OEM bumper. And the cool part is because it's OEM, you know it's going to be perfect fitment. And you get sick race car look. Are you excited Ryan? He's so hyped. He just doesn't know it yet. I dragged him into this. Alright, so it's gonna be a big job, but I think taking off the front bumper shouldn't be too bad. We definitely need to take off the wheels, jack up the car, and then just start unbolting everything from the front. Oh! Shit. <laughs> that was too fast. What? I still need this one. So we gotta, once we have all the bolts off, all the liner bolts off, gotta make sure to unclip the ultrasonic sensor clip right here. I have a splitter so I don't have any of the under clips and bolts but if you do you're gonna have to take those off but for me that's all unclipped it should be able to come right off so things are going smoothly we're actually trying to uh, make a GR movement meet so there should be like a lot of 86s and Supras at the Fujiwara Tofu Cafe in El Monte which is about an hour away so trying to finish this before that meet now that bumper can come right off chassis mounted splitter here but uh, yeah pretty straightforward uh, we're gonna start transferring the plastics over to the new bumper this is so sick nothing's gone wrong yet fuck why did I say that I jinxed it so this is what the clip kind of looks like it really makes life easier having the right tool for this because you don't want to damage this wire with like a flathead a lot of work like popping out all the plastic shroud but definitely get a set of trim removal tools life way easier. Okay, everything's scattered but we got everything off the lip off and we got the new OEM lip on to the new bumper but we're having trouble taking these clips off to take this whole uh, plastic assembly off. I was told just to hit this push the center but we're like putting all our body weight on it and it's not coming out. Okay so we figured out how to get those things out. Basically you get a you get some kind of pick and then you hammer the top to punch the center portion out. So you see how that one's missing. That one's still there. All right, so we have all the wires, plastic bits out. For the new bumper, we're gonna be putting all this back in. All right, almost forgot this one thing. This has to come off. So we're gonna unclip this off and then paint the aluminum uh, crash bar behind it black. So you can't see it through the opening and then we should be good. All right, so we're gonna paint the aluminum crash part black so you don't see the silver through the center hole. So I got it all taped off of how much I'm gonna cut off and how I got this distance is like, I measured, I assume the bumper is about here. So I measured here to the distance back here. This is the bar that was on the crash bar. Um, and got distance I need to 
the clearance I estimated clearance I have from here to the outside of the blue tape here. So we're gonna cut this off and uh, then we'll put it on. Can't believe I jinxed myself. Jinxed myself. I said it should be easy and no problems and we have problems. Fuck. Put my safety goggles on. How do I look? The world looks pretty yellow. Oh, I'm like a gamer. I think in another life I'd be like a League of Legends player, like a Korean League of Legends player. Okay, now, now we're ready. Fuck, how do I get in here? Alright, let's hope that I cut enough. If not, I can just cut more. It's not that bad. Oh. Cool, we're good. Let's, uh, we're gonna put the, we're gonna put the sensors on, clip everything in, and we'll be good to go. We're only like an hour late. Look at how sick that looks. Flows really well. Definitely makes the front look a lot more aggressive. Anyways, we're super late to the meet. It's like an hour and a half past. So an hour drive there, so uh, yeah, we're gonna go over and I'll catch you guys there. Everyone's wiping down their cars. Mine's covered in fiberglass, carbon, and dust. It's fine, it's fine. We have a, we have a hole in our bumper. Made it! Park next to the Super Boys too. Big wing, big wing. So sick, you have a Sabre versus, and then the versus Swan Neck. It's pretty cool, you have, there's both versus wings. I know, like all of us. Are yeah. Made it. And one vehicle tow and 15 vehicle refer to the state yeah. rep. Garden Grove PD is bragging about how many citations they yeah. get. So Mama, Mama, they said Mama they made it. Uh, how is it? Oh, it's good. Yeah. yeah. I heard you got rep. Hey, congrats. Oh. You made it. I, no, no, look, look. I, I made it at the Garden Grove PD. Oh my god. Are you Good serious? job, bro. Yeah. Good job. Good job. <laughs> I need to shout out. I'm going to go. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go check out some cars. Meat's popping. I really wish this color w was available in 2020. Man, I feel like us 2020 owners got kind of screwed. That's sick. Also sick. It's running a saber lip. This wrap color is crazy. I love the BBS LMs. Ryan's car, found parking. Nice. Hi, was Evo. I can never tell, is this an 8 or a 9? I can never tell the difference. That's Vincent's E86 and the Fujiwara Tofu Cafe. Some kind of Jerry Six track car, that's cool. I just shook the hands of a criminal. <laughs> Thank you. You're supporting a criminal, guys. Go to go PD, check it out. Hot version drinks, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, stickers. OG Initial D arcade games. Yeah, Initial D, like, tofu shop. And inside you can see the house layout. The car, the the cars. Oh, it's Maya's hat. That's cool. And merch. Yeah, that center cutout though. I love it. Thank you so much, Serge. It looks so cool. Kyle, which girl sent you this? Uh, the one with the Miata over there. Your the girl's right this. here. <laughs> it's a dude. <laughs> I, I'm actually gay. What the, you, what the Cheers! Cheers. Uproar! Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> the Garden Girls most wanted. Damn, so K Barbecue Night was a success. We got twinning with Ryan, Red Supra, White Supra. We have J86, BRZ, Dan's, Alex, 86s, and then Carter's STI. I don't know why I'm friends with these people, honestly. I, I think I think I just wanted like people to eat Korean barbecue with. I don't actually like them, so. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that's gonna complete it for this video. We're all going home now. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the front bumper. I'm really stoked on it. Uh, I, I need to add the canards to complete the look, but uh, yeah, it's looking like just how I imagined, which is really cool. Yeah, thanks for watching the video, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.